Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Numbers chapter 34. This is the Amplified Version. Instruction for Apportioning Canaan. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the Israelites, When you enter the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall be yours as an inheritance. The land of Canaan, according to its boundaries, your so southern region, shall be from the wilderness of Zin, along the side of Edom, and your southern boundary from the end of the salt Dead Sea, eastward. Your boundary shall turn from the south to the ascent of Akrabim, and continue unto Zin, and its limit shall be south of Kadesh Barnea. Then it shall go on to Hazar Adar, and pass on to Asmon. Then the boundary shall turn from Asmon to the brook of Egypt, Wadiel Arish, and its limit shall be at the Mediterranean Sea. As the western boundary, you shall have the great Mediterranean Sea and its coastline. This shall be your western boundary, and this shall be your north border from the great Mediterranean Sea. Mark out your boundary line to Mount Hor. From Mount Hor, you shall mark out your boundary to the entrance of Hamath, and the limit of the border shall be at Zedad. Then the northern boundary shall go on to Ziphron, and its limit shall be at Hazar Enion. This shall be your northern boundary. You shall mark out your eastern boundary from Hazar Enon to Shepham. The eastern boundary shall go down from Shepham to Ribla on the east side of Ain, and shall descend and reach to the slope on the east of the Sea of Chinnereth, the Sea of Galilee. And the eastern boundary shall go down to the Jordan River, and its limit shall be at the Salt Dead Sea. This shall be your land according to its boundaries all around. So Moses commanded the Israelites, saying, This is the land you are to inherit by lot which the Lord has commanded to be given to the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh. For the tribe of the sons of Reuben and the tribe of the sons of Gad have received their inheritance by their father's households, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have received their possession. The two and a half tribes have received their inheritance across the Jordan River opposite Jericho, eastward toward the sunrise. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, These are the names of the men who shall divide the land among you as an inheritance. Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun. You shall take one leader from every tribe to divide the land for the inheritance. These are the names of the men from the tribe of Judah. Caleb the son of Jephunneh, from the tribe of the sons of Simeon, Samuel the son of Amihud. From the tribe of Benjamin, Eladad, the son of Chislon. From the tribe of the sons of Dan, a leader, Bukai, the son of Joglai. Of the sons of Joseph, from the tribe of the sons of Manasseh, a leader, Haniel, the son of Ephod. From the tribe of the sons of Ephraim, a leader, Kimuel, the son of Sheftan. From the tribe of the sons of Zebulun, a leader, Elizaphan, the son of Harnack, from the tribe of the sons of Issachar, a leader. Paltiel, the son of Azan, from the tribe of the sons of Asher, a leader. Ahihud, the son of Shilomai, from the tribe of the sons of Naphtali, a leader. Padahil, the son of Amihud. These are the twelve men whom the Lord commanded to work with Joshua and Eliezer to divide the inheritance to the sons of Israel in the land of Canaan. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.